Now, let's shift our focus to question number three, part B, and this is based on an involute. Take a look, and this is for six marks. Okay, uh, one end of a string AB of length one forty millimeter. Listen to this very very carefully. Is wound on a disc, wound around a disc of diameter fifty millimeters by keeping one end A fixed on the disc. Okay. And keeping the string always tight. Wonderful. Draw the locus traced by the other end of the string and name the curve. Let me straight away take you to the solution, and this will be over in the next two five to ten minutes. And I would strongly suggest you guys that you draw it on a piece of paper, a four size piece of paper, or or a bigger chart sheet. Okay, your choice. There is a string. What is the length of that string, sir? It is one forty. Write it down. Secondly, it has to be wound around a disc of diameter 50 millimeters. So the disc diameter is 50. Wonderful. Whenever you come across any problem on involute, try to work out whether it is a general case or it is a comparative case. When I say general case, if there is nothing written in the question about the string length, then you can straight away assume that length of the string is equal to the circumference of the circle. When there is specifically mentioned that the length of string is so and so in that case you need to make a comparison whether the length of string is less than the circle circumference or the length of the string is greater than the circle circumference all of these things have to be taken into account so let us calculate pi d now on working it out we see that it is 157.07 and here is the length of string can you compare you can clearly see that this length of string is lesser than the circumference and let me write it down. How to begin our construction? Does not matter if the length of string is less than or even greater than what the circle circumference that is pi d. The initial construction steps remains same. Don't worry. Let me just show this to you. What we'll do initially is we'll start off by making a circle of diameter. The diameter is 50, but the radius r is going to be 25. Can you do this? Yes, sir, we can. Secondly, can you divide the circle into four equal parts? Yes, sir. Can you divide each of these parts into three equal parts? Three, 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 which makes the total division of 12. Okay. And now let's number them. Starting from this very point. One dash, two dash, three dash, and so on. Done, sir. So far, so good. Very easy. Okay. <coughs> In the next step, we are going to do I mean, we are going to make a line. Sir, what is the length of this line? It is equal to pi d. How much is pi d? As you saw in the previous slide, it is equal to 157.07 approximated. 157.1. Okay. <laughs> you cannot mark 157.07 through your physical scale. Right? Okay. Now, how many divisions did you go for in this circle? Sir, we actually did 12 divisions. Therefore, or you must go for 12 divisions along this line also. Okay, if you go for 8 divisions over here, you have to go for 8 divisions along this line. If you go for 12 divisions along the circle, you have to go for 12 divisions along the line. That's the fund. So we are going to start off with this point. And let me randomly draw any line at any angle, no matter what. Now, keep your scale over here. And at equal distances of 10 millimeters, or one centimeter keep on marking points okay how far are these two points spaced sir one centimeter then again one centimeter then again one centimeter i have put up arcs but you can simply make points no need to make arcs how many arcs 12 arcs now connect this 12th arc with the end point of the line in this fashion and now it is the job of the drafter how can i make this properly you need to keep the longer scale of your drafter over here then tighten the screw okay then move your drafter to this 11th point draw a line 10th point draw a line keep on repeating this process until all the points have been exhausted done now we are going to start the numbering it starts from over here 1 2 3 and so on can you do this yes sir this is the initial construction phase which remains same for both the cases, it does not matter whether the length of string is less than pi d or it is greater than pi d. This is the initial construction step, which is same. 
now we are going to put our string along this line over here what is the string length so string length is 140 millimeters okay starting from this point keep your string this is 140 okay can you mark this point i've used a different color you guys won't be able to use different colors simply write a point as written in the problem let me show this to you in the problem it was clearly written that end a has to be fixed on the disc okay while the other end this other end of the string that uh, you'll hold it and then you'll keep on bounding the string right until the process finishes so that is exactly what you'll do let me go back to this main slide and uh, now what sir there is a specific reason why this point has been marked as one dash and not this point what is that reason if you just try to think this logically let me zoom into this this a b string is what we are concerned about we want to wound this string around this disc on the circumference of the disc so so what will happen when the string when this much portion of the string is wound the remaining portion can be repaired or can be shown with the help of this tangent isn't it yes sir just listen just listen me out when this much portion of the string comes into contact then this two is going to coincide with this two dash over here isn't it yes sir and then the remaining portion of the string can be shown by this tangent <laughs> once again when this much portion of the string when this much portion of the string comes into contact with the circumference of the circle then the remaining portion can be represented along this tangent line isn't it so you've got to make tangents through all of these spokes and it's very very easy let me tell you you just need to keep the smaller scale of your compass and then the larger scale will automatically point in the direction of tangent this way okay you have to repeat this for two dash three dash four dash i'm sure you guys can implement this very very easily once this is done now try to realize if this much portion has come into contact with the disc that means this much portion now let me use a different color if this much portion has come into contact with the disc okay this much portion what is the remaining portion so the remaining portion is this much this is the remaining portion the one in purple okay that is from 1 to b so what we'll do is with 1 b as the radius and then with 1 dash as the center cut an arc and this is going to give you b1 can you do this yes sir and then with 2 b as the radius and with this 2 as the center cut another arc this is going to give rise to b2 similarly you can mark b3 b4 b5 b6 b7 b8 b9 and as far as b10 is concerned Keep one leg of our compass at 10, other leg at B, literally at B, and then with 10 dash as center, cut an arc. Can you see the arc? Here it is. 10 dash as center, cut an arc. That will give rise to B10. And when you make this arc, uh, please make sure that one end of the arc touches, just touches the circle circumference. And that, by the way, or by default, is your point B. Okay. So the construction is done. What you now need to do is you need to join all of these points in proper sequence and this is going to give rise to a beautiful curve although this curve that i have made does not look beautiful by the way it's known as an involute it would look something like this and the construction work should be very very light uh, also you need to do some dimensioning also which i have shown in the next slide here it is this is how can you see how the construction work looks okay keep it light grayish very very light right so that was the entire description of this problem based on involute mumbai university uh, i think in the summer session may 2022 engineering graphics paper they had a similar problem there in that uh, <coughs> problem the length of string apparently was 120 millimeters in this case it is 140 millimeters but the entire construction process remains same their point b was between 8 and 9 if i can recall that properly if you guys have seen that video let me know. Right? Thank you.